Hey everyone, today I am excited to talk about the latest SDX or Sims Delivery Express update for The Sims 4. This update dropped yesterday, the 22nd of August, and is all about back to school. And it includes a variety of new content for your Sims of all ages to enjoy. First, let's talk about how to download and install the SDX update. To do this, simply open up The Sims 4 and your game should automatically check for new content. There's a pop-up that says New Sims Delivery, new content has been installed but will not be available for use until the game is restarted. Would you like to restart now? All unsaved data will be lost. So you can click to restart now or select No Keep Playing. Now if you select No Keep Playing, then the new items will not be available for you to play in the game. But that does give you the option to, or the ability to save your game if you were in the middle of playing. Or you can click yes, restart now, and the game will shut down and automatically restart. Now, if you do not see this, then you can go into game options by clicking on the options button, which will open up the menu. Then you go to game options and Sims delivery, and it will tell you a new Sims delivery has been installed. If you do not see this, then there will be an option that will say check for new content. So anyway, once you've downloaded the update, you will need to restart your game in order to see the new content. So let's do that now. All right, let's take a look at all the new content that has been included in the SDX update. All right, so there is a new backpack called the Don't Break Your Backpack, which is found in Kids Decorations. This backpack is actually usable. It says it's 170 simoleons, features reinforced seams, a padded base, and ergonomic construction, so all those books feel light as a feather. Small front and zippered pocket has dedicated storage for pens, pencils, gum, and phone. Now, this backpack comes at 15 different swatches, so let's go ahead and take a look at all of these swatches that we've got. Uh, we've got a red and black one, we've got a pink one with a little bow tie, a black one, camo with a bunch of badges and patches and such, blue and black, pink, white, a void critter swatch, an owl swatch, white, watermelon, a gray backpack with caution tape all over it, skull and crossbones, a nice tan or brown swatch, and finally a pink striped swatch that's been drawn on. We've got little pictures of animals, unicorn, a fox or a dog, I'm not quite sure, flowers, and a strawberry and such. These backpacks can be equipped by Sims of all ages, and they can also be stored in your Sims inventory. There is a new lunchbox called Always Has a Snack Bag, which is in Kids Activities section. And again, 15 swatches to choose from, each with a selection of food and drinks. So basically what you can do, you can click on it and choose drink or have a quick meal. So the different swatches in this are red, pink, with polka dots and bow tie. These all, by the way, match the backpack. So you can you can mix and match to your heart's content. Black camo. We've got the blue, pink, gray, void critters, owl, white, watermelon, gray with the caution tape, golden crossbones, the brown or tan color, and finally your pink stripe swatch. With even more drawings, dog, cow plant, <laughs> which I, I love that cow plant. That is awesome. And they always has a snack bag. Description reads, at school, at home, or on the go, this little lunch bag has something for everyone. The insulated interior and front zippered compartment have plenty of space for a cold drink or yummy bite. We also have some new doors. This is called the facilities door. 50 simoleons, a sturdy door perfect for facilities, but especially toilet rooms because of the toilet on the sign, right? And this comes in quite a few designs. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look. So we've got blue, a toilet sign on the door, black, brown, loving that wood texture, by the way. Uh, that's mahogany. Then we got a, a more dark, a proper brown, black, gray, tan, or like a, a birch color, a really dark chocolate brown. Then we've got a brown with brown frame, pure white instead of the off-white color over here, 
red with blue sign, a nice oak type veneer, very light gray, nice chocolate color with a darker chocolate color with um, the same color frame, mahogany with white frame, a white door with a blue sign, another brown with a white frame and brown sign, another wooden door with a brown sign, and finally gray wood with a gray frame uh, and a brown sign. There's also new facility signs, two new facility signs, one square, one circular, and they're basically the same. They have the same icons, only one is square and one is circular. And these come in a lot of icon designs. Let's go through all of these. So we've got the circular heart uh, for your doctor's office. Now the odd thing is the, s the shadow of it is really weird. There, it gives off a square s shadow. I'm hoping that they're going to fix that graphical glitch in the future because it just looks so weird. But in any event, we've got the heart. We have a no trash sign, an exit sign, an arrow sign, a fire hydrant sign, a no cow plant cake sign, or do not accept cake from cow plant sign, uh, however you want to phrase it. I love that sign, that is the best. And then we have a trash can sign, a cutlery sign that, you know, signifies restaurant or cafeteria, an up arrow sign, or a forward arrow sign, a round toilet sign, a mail sign or post sign, a downwards arrow sign, a wash hands sign, a coffee sign, which I can, I can get behind, or hot drinks, you know, if you prefer tea, a nappy sign or a diaper changing sign, an arrow pointing to the right, and finally an upstairs sign. Now there's black signs as well. They are the exact same as the blue ones. So I'm not going to show the round ones in the black. Instead, we're going to show the black square versions. The square versions also come in blue. And the description for these signs is tired of directing visitors all over the place. Now you can point to these very obvious direction signs. Need a trash can? There's probably one really close to the square. And the circular one is the same thing that's, you know, need a break room? There's probably one really close to this circle. Absolutely love it. Now, personally, I think that the backpacks and the lunchboxes are my favorite additions to the game in this update. They're a fun way to accessorize your sims, and they also come in handy for keeping your sims hunger and thirst levels up. These two items will also come in super handy for rags to riches and nomad gameplay challenges. The new facilities doors and signs are also a nice touch and add a little bit of variety and, and storytelling. Uh, to your gameplay. So what do you think of the new Sims Delivery Express update? Uh, let me know in the comments, and if I've missed anything, let me know as well. This is all that I could find, and all that the Sims team mentioned in their uh, social media posts. But yeah, if, if you found anything else that's new, please let me know in, in the comments. And as always, my friends, thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you found this useful. If you did, please like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye!